If popular culture has taught us anything, it is that someday mankind must face and destroy the growing robot menace. Curse you, technology. Curse you. Oh, boy. Um... So tonight, I did a Ustream, and I know I wasn't going to talk about updates, but I guess it's unavoidable. I recorded one, and it's up on my Ustream currently, but it won't be there in a month, and unless I can figure out a way to effectively pull it off and put it up on my YouTube channel that's the only time you'll get to see it um, what happened was that it could only be a certain amount of time but what I don't understand is the one I did as a test was actually longer than the supposed time that it can be and so that's confusing but I guess it involves me more doing more reading and figuring out something else yet entirely um, <laughs> but okay well what I did was Ray Dillon's card uh, sketch card of his character gatekeeper and you can purchase the Gatekeeper sketch card at my store, if you so wish. Um, and it went well. I mean, considering, you know, I've had a long day. Another long day. <clears throat> and it's, it's going to take me a while to adjust to this schedule. I'm just pushing myself like crazy, doing doing a bunch of stuff that's like more production and not actual art. Um, and I thought I did upload that video and did a whole bunch of work and it failed. Tried to download and then upload and that failed. Uh, the program I got doesn't accept the download file and so on <laughs> um, so I made a cover filled out the whole description body body blah it didn't work out but so it goes um, I'll see if I can get that working Otherwise, maybe I'll just do short shows, which is the solution. How short? I don't know. I would like to do a 45-minute show. And the video, the test video was 25. It says I can only do 15. <laughs> I, I'm an independent guy. I push past what you say I can do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's see if I can get that working. We'll see if I can get the Studio Synergy uh, Hangout event whole thing to work out. Uh, I've gotten a, a great response from that. A lot of people want to join in and I do want to set it up as an event. So I was busy with setting up their Ustream today and a bunch of other stuff. So I don't know if I could do it tomorrow. I get some client work. 
but we'll see. All right, I'm already five minutes in. <clears throat> what am I doing today? Well, I want to just spin off the topic from yesterday, which was, sorry for the glaring visuals and the boring blank page, but, okay, <clears throat> I'm exhausted, it's past one in the morning, <sighs> I was up to three last night, <sighs> but I'm, I'm hanging in there, folks, <laughs> okay, overwhelmed was yesterday. And it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh my gosh. What is the word? Well, you know what? It's not coming to me, so... <laughs> I am not going to fail. I may stumble. But I'll get there in the end. All right. So, what I wanted to do is, well, I was thinking of thumbnailing page five of Bright Eyes. And I think what I'm going to do Instead, is because I, I I didn't put my thirty minutes in today, and I thought I was going to be doing this video and. It's going to have to continue after this, so while this is saving and then processing as I upload it to YouTube, I'm going to put a little more time in, and then by the time that's done, and I uh, post it, I mean, yeah, just to Facebook and Twitter or whatever, um, I'll be done with my 30 minutes. What it, so what I was thinking was <coughs> not thumbnailing a page, but uh, mapping out some ideas. So the whole intro first page one through four, I believe, and mind you, I'm tired, so just go with me. Say that's correct. Thank you. <laughs> um, page five introduces an actual story. Um, the first four pages are silent, but have key points to the story. But from page five, I want to give April's, uh, flesh out April's uh, school life. And uh, maybe I'll go a little long with this video. So, What I want to do is establish well, okay, not only her, okay, her school life her home life from five on to the end, which would be 28 pages. Um, 
home life. I want to <clears throat> essentially you'll if you haven't already figured it out you'll learn that April is a loner do this um, this may be less entertaining but this is me actually thinking out live so <laughs> um, I mapped out a, a bunch of stuff but I'm just I want the the next point in the story, like say this is one through four, and this is page five. I want to do this, you know, page eight, twenty eight is way over here and of course it's going to be some kind of critical point in the story and I'm figuring like issue this is issue one is I may do issue two, issue three, telling the whole school and home life before we move on to the next arc. So when originally this is okay, going back, when originally conceiving of Bright Eyes and you know, a lot of creators are, are like influenced by movies, and I I am as well. I s sort of use them as trigger points, not necessarily paying homage to them in any way or even copying them exactly, but it just gives me an idea of um, somewhat of where I want to go, and the first three issues of Bright Eyes is in a small way kind of like if you can read that clueless <laughs> um, bet you didn't expect that uh, so yeah so it, that has to do with just she is the only daughter she does live with her father and she is going to school um, how much more from that I pull eh, remains to be seen but so, we establish in the first four pages that she goes to school, she lives at home with her dad, she has a job, and a couple more things, but it's it's really how observant the reader is to figuring that out. I didn't throw it in her face. It's there. But, you know, now 
I want to get into a part of the story where and I'm not sure if if I want to play out some scenes from her friends point points of view <clears throat> excuse me um if I want to do that first I mean cuz I I do want to you know not only like start adding dialogue but but um sort of change the beat because you know we pretty much just seen not you know like seen a bunch of scenes with her in it and not a much not a, a ton of information so <clears throat> yeah I'm sort of I'm sort of thinking like We'll have because it's it's really tricky. Like you know, I, I've collected um, a bunch of ideas and you know bits of scenes and plot points but now it's like how do I direct them yeah since uh, I, I'm the director you know I'm the writer and, and the artist and um, it could play out a thousand different ways, uh, but what's what's the best use of my screen time? You know, <clears throat> films films are awesome and excellent in regards to everything you see has a purpose. You know, sometimes it's just scenery, but that tells a lot in, in regards to the story you know what time period it is or what season it is or you know sometimes it's just is it day is it night you know things like that but I, I really want to get into her, her school life I guess, okay, I guess when it comes down to it, it is 28 pages, and I do want to introduce April's, uh, a new person in April's life. <clears throat> And, um, so I think it's most important that okay, if this is going to play out. Oh, shit. Should it really be three issues? See, I'm thinking and not talking. And <laughs> not even drawing. Um, yeah, I watched a bunch of you other guys talk about your stories, and it's not the most entertaining. 
So uh, I'm I'm probably the least entertaining videos you'll find in our collective. <laughs> but anyway, I entertain myself. Okay. I feel strongly about giving a good amount of time to her in school because it will not only say a lot about um, what she's going through currently and not only build a certain amount of closeness with her new friend but also say a lot about who she was and you know I could decide all that right now and I guess you know, my gut is telling me make it two issues. Scrap issue three. And the end of issue two, which, you know, that will be from issue two on will be 22 pages is a critical point so if I can establish a lot of characters we get to know about April we get to know about April's dad we get to know about April's new friendship we have April graduating high school um, which I felt that was an, uh, an important point. I didn't want to make a story about um, it's not a I don't know I felt it was important that we get to know her while in school. You know, she has went through, you know, it ha has been through a life change and it has affected her life in every way. And, you know, to me, this is, this is sort of, uh, Clueless was, was fun and, and, you know, um, fun and, and sort of it was a love story and uh, it moved along you know my the pacing of these two issues will probably be slow and, and sort of manga-esque pacing um, but I wanted that because you know I Establish April as a good girl and <clears throat> going through a tough time and she's essentially, you know, alienated herself from everyone else and her dad is going through a similar thing 
except he's worse off. And yeah, where where it winds up at the end of issue two is it breaks away from all that. How? I'm not gonna say it's a long you know, this this hundred days, this is day 15, this is not going to even cover the first issue, you know, let alone the second issue, but, you know, I could see, like, the graduation, April's graduation happening somewhere in issue two. Somewhere over here, in issue two. Um, issue two's timeline. Yeah, to, <laughs> if you can make sense of any of this, I'm just doodling. Um, but I will keep this for my records and probably even listen to this episode. I should I should say uh, this is. Day 15 of 100. Use that as my reference in <clears throat> another of my abstract configurations. Um, but yeah, okay, so for the whole of issue 1, she's in school. The last leg of school is in issue 2. But there's after that as well. Because I think it's you know th from the beginning of issue one to <clears throat> the end of issue two there is something that April goes through. And we, you know, I want to clearly establish the, the before of that, which will be a good part. You know, good part or, or maybe most of issue one you know where she's alone she's alienated her friends have moved on stuff like that so you know the real meat of what I see like bright eyes as, as the series um, is something altogether different from all this uh, but I think by you know I I see bright eyes as like uh, not saying I'm as good as but like Sandman it was a a complete story, you know. I, I didn't read the complete Sandman, but um, it began, it had a middle, and it had an end, and it wasn't ongoing. Well, Bright Eyes is like that, you know. I could see it being fifty issues, say, um, you know, which. What April is in in the beginning isn't what she is later, you know. Obviously, you may you know you saw my bright eyes T-shirt and a couple of images I have on a well one one image 
is kind of a dead giveaway that I have up on DeviantArt. Uh, but, you know, and I have mentioned she's a bad girl. She, she turns into a bad girl. But, you know, there's a lot more to it than that. It's me creating a character and a book that really revs up into something I hope by the time I get to the juicier stuff that that I'm a lot more capable as a writer and and definitely as a, as an artist in order to tell it the way I want to tell it. You know, I'm only just scratching the surface here and probably will be for the first hundred days uh, challenge that I'm doing here but I'm, you know it, this this book is really a, a real is really a, a passion of, of something I want to create and um I realize, like, that there's, I could put a hell of a lot more thought. I could use these hundred days just to work on setting up the story structure, um, and and doing timelines and and you know mapping out the characters and. You know, I realize to a certain extent I'm sort of winging it, but <clears throat> I have the information in my head. It's, and I I believe that you know, working on comics has has, has educated me to where I I think you know. I'm just rolling with it. I, I think, you know, I think it won't be half bad. And I think by the time we do get to the juicier stuff and and what it all means, then I'll be ready for it. Uh, so <laughs> I think this may not seem like a lot to you. And you may just be completely dumbfounded like what did he just say or, or you know uh, but this what I just did establishes a lot for me and I think uh, you know I'm reading over 30 minutes right now uh, I think I'll put a, a little more in this but I think that's my 30 <laughs> for today uh, I know what what is it probably two yeah it's just after two right now alright so I'm going to wrap this up I might not even post it until tomorrow but uh, it will be up on video it will be up on YouTube so I'll be done <sighs> I you know I gotta say, like, I, I'm... I feel like I'm a hundred times more committed to my career than I have been in years. Like, somehow, I'm definitely on the right track. And if I could just save myself from, you know, not save myself, prevent myself from falling face flat on the ground and just get through, through this grueling schedule, then um, greatness will come from it. You know, if, if the only thing that comes of it is that I'm a better writer, I'm a better artist, and I'm better at marketing, you know, there's a hundred things I'm doing. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm dabbling with the manga studio, doing design work with that and stuff. 
uh, you know, if the only thing I achieve out of this in the next hundred days or in the next six months that's left of this year, then I'll be happy with that. I'll be very happy, you know. I want to produce more, you know, produce more art, which is the, what the live stream's about. And doing so publicly you know it's it's not something that comes easy but you know it may seem ah he, he's a natural I don't I, you know I don't know what I look like sometimes but uh, I know I look tired <laughs> but um, you know it this isn't so natural and it is a learning process and you know I'm learning how to do this better not necessarily that I'm implementing how to do it better um, when it comes down to it the, these videos are a journal for ourselves you know if they're entertaining then so be it um, but yeah I want to I really just dig in and, and and start putting out pages I'm going to get that neon neon page done this week and I'll get a bright eyes page done next week and I've said this before but just you know a constant reminder is good especially if I'm the one reminding me you know when I wake up there's no boss kicking me in the ass there's no you know my girlfriend would be happy if I spent the whole day with her but you know I, I'm the one that's gotta put myself in my own in in the office in my chair and uh, get this work done you know and so far I've, I've I've had encouragement online but nobody <laughs> nobody who's like saying you better do this or else uh, okay so this is a wrap day 15 I'll see you tomorrow All right, bye